Have you ever wondered why many cultures around the world include insects in their diet? Picture this, a bustling market in Thailand, where vendors peddle crispy critters as snacks, or maybe a family in Mexico enjoying a dish of chapulines, a type of grasshopper. This might seem a bit foreign or even off-putting to some, especially those hailing from Western societies. We often view the idea of insect consumption with a certain degree of skepticism, thanks to our cultural biases. But what if we were to shift that perspective? What if we saw insects not as pests, but as a potential food source? It's a bold idea, one that's been around for ages in many parts of the world. And as we become more aware of our health and the environment, it's a concept that's beginning to gain traction. What if we told you that eating insects might be the answer to some of our most pressing health and environmental issues? Insects, as it turns out, are nutritional powerhouses. This might sound a bit surprising, but let's delve into the facts. Insects are packed with an impressive array of nutrients. They are rich in protein, a key building block for our bodies, necessary for repairing tissue, making enzymes and hormones, and supporting a healthy immune system. Some insects, such as crickets, can contain up to 65% protein, which is a higher protein content than beef or chicken. But the nutritional benefits of insects don't stop at protein. They are also an excellent source of fiber, especially chitin, a type of fiber found in the exoskeleton of insects. This fiber aids digestion, helps control blood sugar levels, and can even lower cholesterol. And then we have the micronutrients. Many insects are rich in vitamins and minerals including iron, zinc, and vitamin B12. These are essential for a wide range of body functions, from maintaining healthy blood cells to supporting the nervous system. Some insects, such as mealworms, are surprisingly high in these micronutrients, providing more than what you would get from an equivalent serving of beef or chicken. Let's put this into perspective. Imagine you're sitting down to a meal. On one plate, you have a serving of beef. On another, a serving of crickets. The crickets not only contain more protein, but they also provide more fiber and micronutrients, offering a more balanced and nutritious meal. But what about the taste, you might ask? Well, many people describe the flavor of insects as nutty, earthy, or similar to shrimps. Some even say that when cooked right, insects can be a delicious addition to any meal. So, comparing insects to traditional sources of protein like beef and chicken, it's clear that insects are not just an alternative but in many ways a superior choice. They offer a wide range of nutrients, are high in protein and fiber, and are packed with essential vitamins and minerals. So, it's clear that insects can hold their own when it comes to nutritional value. But they are more than just a nutritional powerhouse, they are an opportunity to explore new flavors and contribute to a more sustainable future. But it's not just about what insects can do for our bodies, it's also about what they can do for our planet. Let's take a moment to consider the environmental footprint of our food. Traditional livestock farming is a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions, it's also incredibly land and water intensive. Now imagine a food source that requires a fraction of these resources, yet still provides high-quality protein. Welcome to the world of insect farming. Insect farming has been found to emit significantly lower greenhouse gases compared to traditional livestock farming. Think about it. Cows, sheep, and pigs, they all produce methane, a potent greenhouse gas. Insects, on the other hand, produce negligible amounts of methane. That's a huge win for our atmosphere. But the environmental benefits don't stop there. Insects are also incredibly efficient at converting feed into protein. While a cow may require over 7 pounds of feed to produce just 1 pound of beef, insects can do the same with just a fraction of that feed. This means less land is required for growing feed crops, preserving more of our natural habitats. And let's not forget about water. Livestock farming is one of the largest consumers of freshwater resources. Insects, however, need far less water. Some species can even thrive in dry conditions. This makes insect farming a more sustainable choice, especially in regions where water is scarce. Moreover, insects are cold-blooded, meaning they don't need to use food to maintain their body temperature. This makes them more efficient at converting feed into edible mass. And because they reproduce quickly, insect farming can produce more protein in less time. So, next time you're considering a dietary change, remember this. Not only are insects packed with nutrition, but their production also leaves a smaller environmental footprint. From lower greenhouse gas emissions to less land and water use, the benefits are clear. Eating insects might just be one of the most sustainable dietary choices we can make. We know what you're thinking, but insects? Really? Yes indeed, the very idea might make your stomach churn. 
But let's delve into this a bit further. Our aversion to eating insects is largely cultural. In many parts of the world, insects are a normal part of the diet. In fact, they're considered delicacies. The Western world, however, has a different perspective. We've been conditioned to see insects as pests, not food. But as we've discussed earlier in this video, insects are nutritional powerhouses and environmentally friendly sources of protein. Let's consider another point. Dietary habits are not static. They are dynamic, changing with time and necessity. Look at sushi, for instance. Raw fish was once a big no-no in many Western cultures. Now sushi restaurants are as common as pizzerias in many cities. Or take kale. A couple of decades ago it was just a curly green garnish that nobody ate. Today it's hailed as a superfood. Change can be challenging, yes, but it's also necessary, especially when the health of our planet and personal well-being are at stake. Consider this, our current food production methods are unsustainable. They're depleting our resources and contributing to climate change. We need alternatives and insects provide a viable solution. So, how do we overcome the yuck factor? By changing our mindset. By educating ourselves about the benefits of eating insects. By trying out insect-based foods in a safe, controlled environment. It might take some time to adjust, but remember, our taste buds are adaptable. And here's a fun fact. You've probably already eaten insects without knowing it. The Food and Drug Administration allows for a certain amount of insect parts in many processed foods. So, in a way, you've already taken the first step. Remember, many foods we enjoy today were once considered strange or unappetizing. Overcoming the yuck factor is just a matter of perspective and a willingness to try something new. And who knows? You might even find that you enjoy the crunch of a crispy cricket or the subtle nuttiness of a mealworm. So, you're intrigued and want to give insects a try. But how do you incorporate them into your diet? Let's start with the basics. If you're not quite ready to snack on whole bugs, there are plenty of insect-based products on the market that can ease you into this dietary shift. For instance, cricket flour is a great place to start. It's made from ground-up crickets and can be used in place of traditional wheat flour in your favorite recipes. It's packed with protein and has a mild, nutty flavor that can add a unique twist to your baked goods. If you're more of a grab-and-go type, insect protein bars could be your ticket. They're convenient, packed with nutrients, and come in a variety of flavors. These bars are made from insects like crickets or mealworms, and are combined with other healthful ingredients like nuts and dried fruits. They're perfect for a quick breakfast or an afternoon pick-me-up. For the adventurous among you, why not try cooking with whole insects? They can be added to stir-fries, salads, or even used as a pizza topping. For instance, you can try a simple recipe of roasted crickets seasoned with your favorite spices. Just remember, like with any new ingredient, start small and adjust to your taste. One important tip to remember is to always source your insects from reputable suppliers. Insects intended for human consumption are raised in clean, controlled environments and are processed in a way that's safe to eat. So, don't go catching bugs in your backyard. If you're feeling creative, there's a whole world of insect-based recipes online to explore. From cricket flour pancakes to mealworm stir-fry, the possibilities are endless. Remember, incorporating insects into your diet doesn't have to be a daunting task. Start slow, experiment with different products and recipes, and before you know it, you'll be a pro at cooking and eating insects. With a little creativity, you'll find that insects can be a versatile and tasty addition to your meals. Today, we've taken a deep dive into the world of edible insects. We've unveiled the surprising truth about these tiny creatures. They're nutritional powerhouses. Packed with protein, vitamins, and minerals, insects can bolster your health in a big way. But the benefits don't stop at nutrition. Insect farming also offers a more sustainable alternative to traditional livestock farming, using less water, land, and producing fewer greenhouse gases. Overcoming the yuck factor might be the biggest hurdle for many, yet we've seen how insects can be incorporated into our meals in palatable ways. It could be as simple as adding cricket flour to your morning smoothie, or experimenting with mealworm stir-fry for dinner. The journey into the world of edible insects might be daunting, but the rewards are promising. The choice is yours. Will you take the leap towards a healthier, more sustainable diet?